Hello boys and girls. This is day two of animal coverings and we're going to begin this lesson by reviewing reading big word strategies. Um, so first you want to look for the word parts, your prefixes, your suffixes, your base word, and you're going to look at these for familiar patterns like your short vowel sounds and your long vowel sounds. Now I have done that for you. I have went ahead and pulled these apart and looked at your prefixes and your suffixes and your base words. Now once that these have been broken apart, it's time for you to blend them together again. So these are easier chunks. For instance, EX, I know it says X. P-L-A-I-N is Plain. It has a long vowel sound. So X, plain, and then you have the suffix ing. X, plain, ing. Explaining. Explaining. You do that for each of the words. So I have broken this re, re play, Re played. Re played. Now we're going to do the next word. So basically, all I've done is broken these down into syllables or more manageable chunks. So I N says in. V E S T says vest. I is I. N vest I. And now this last chunk, I see that silent E on the end. It's going to jump over and make that A say its name. So, investigate. 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 Basic. Golly, basically, basically, basically. Your job is to segment these words down here on your own and see if you can read them. For the second portion of today's assignment, we're going to be looking on page 14 and 15 at animal coverings, and we're going to specifically be looking at the word scales. I want you to look at the word scales. I have it circled. And I wrote the question, what are scales? And I want to point out that, that there's an S on the end of scales. That tells you that there are more than one correct? So it's going to be plural. I also, as I was reading, I said scales cover their bodies. Well, to me, a scale is something you measure with, but that's not really going to help an animal. You can't put something you measure with on the animal's skin. That's not going to work at all. So how am I going to find what the definition of scales is? There's this word R right here. That is a context clue that tells you that the definition may come after. So scales are made of keratin, the same material in a person's fingernails. So I know that my fingernails are kind of hard. So I wonder if scales are hard. What do you think? For the rest of today's assignment, you're going to read paragraphs 10 through 15. And you're going to be looking specifically at clue words that might help you figure out the definition of some of these vocabulary words. Have a nice day.